This is 7 News. Tonight, three police officers gunned down in suburban Brisbane. We all the situation This chap is uh, a psychopath. Good evening, everyone. It's been a day of near death, miraculous survival and heroism for Brisbane police after three officers were gunned down at close range by a psychopath. One officer was shot 12 times when the trio responded to a neighbourhood dispute early this morning. Tonight, the victims are recovering as a massive manhunt continues across northern Brisbane for the armed and dangerous man. Police and ambulance crews rushed to Chermside West to help their stricken colleagues. The injured officers taken to hospital while dozens of armed police began the hunt for the gunman, thought to be 32-year-old Nigel Dean Perotti. As the sun rose, the search intensified. Neighbours left wondering why all the fuss. I woke up to something and then I heard the signs in the distance and they kept getting closer and closer. All of a sudden, all these police just started covering the street. There was police everywhere. The police came down the street and told us to stay away from the windows and to stay inside. The drama had unfolded around 3.40 a.m. as two officers in a marked vehicle arrived to investigate a neighbourhood dispute. Another car followed for backup. A lone officer got out of that car and sat in the back of the first vehicle to discuss the case, leaving the door open. It was then they were ambushed by a crazed gunman. All three officers are from Boondall Station. They're 26-year-old Constable Sharnel Cole, 27-year-old Constable Darrell Green and 38-year-old Sergeant Christopher Mulhall. They're very brave, the three of them. All were injured. The young female officer, the most serious, hit 12 times in the face and upper body. But despite the extent of her injuries, Constable Cole still managed to radio for backup. She's conscious. I spoke to her and thank God she will pull through. I've come into casually after what these people have been through. They look like they have been in a battle. The all Queenslanders are thinking of them at this time. Scientific police scoured the scene. Blood samples have been taken from the car's doors. Shrapnel from the weapon littered the ground. We think it's either a revolver or a 22 calibre, either shortened um, rifle or a handgun. And we understand it may be fitted with a silencer. That makes it an illegal weapon, sparking renewed debate over gun laws. I guess you could restrict them more and more and more, but uh, people who will want to uh, get them will get them. Tonight, Queensland's most wanted man is 32-year-old Nigel Dean Parodi. But that's not what he calls himself. He goes by the name Jesse James after the American outlaw who robbed from the rich but was also a vicious killer. Well, this person has an obsession with firearms. Uh, all we have to do now, of course, is to apprehend this lunatic. This chap is um, uh, a psychopath. He needs care and needs help. As the day wore on, the police search widened. The roads radiating out from Hanbury Street were closed as heavily armed officers searched door to door. The dog squad looked under homes and in bushland, and from the air, the wider area was scoured. At the Parodi family home, officers waited outside until bomb experts gave the OK inside. Metal detectors were also brought in to check underground. This afternoon, the suspect's sister appealed for a quick surrender. We don't want to see you hurt and the police don't want to see that either. Please, Nigel, we beg of you to contact either Dad or myself and we'll make arrangements for you to meet with the police. We don't want to see you hurt or anyone else hurt. Nigel, this isn't going to go away. Please contact us. We really want to help you. Nigel is known to police. He's 32 years old, around 186 centimetres tall, red hair, big ears, and was this morning wearing jeans. Well, Peter Doherty now joins us with the latest from Boondall Police Station. Peter, have there been any recent sightings? S uh, suspected sightings, yes, Kay. Poli people are already phoning police here at Boondall, where the three officers were from, but so far, all those suspected sightings have been false. And how many police are actually involved in the manhunt now? The commissioner says up to 200 police. Detectives are now saying the gunman frequently hitchhikes. So they want to hear from anyone who gave a personal lift on the north side anything like that description. And they're obviously advising people not to pick anyone up in this area tonight. Thanks, Peter. We'll leave it there. Peter Doughty reporting.